Jeannie is up. This is a good question. Uh, I can show this. Guys, am, uh, am I allowed to give away my Yelp listing strategies right now and hump day hangouts? We can, mm. we can, we can talk about that, can't we? Or is that, or is that masterclass mastermind stuff only? Leave this one up to you. If it's up to me, I'm going to give it away because it's just Yelp. <laughs> All right. Let's do All it. All right. You guys want to see a Yelp listing strategy. Let me do this. <clears throat> All right. We're going to pull up a Yelp listing here. So let me just pull up, um, I don't know, think of something. Let's just say HVAC contractor uh, Culpepper, which is where I live. And uh, I've got it set on Bing as my default, which I teach you guys to do. So apparently I'm drinking my own Kool-Aid here. Let me try this again. Son of a bitch. Sorry, guys. HVAC, let's say Culpepper VA. All right, let's see if we can find a Yelp listing here. Right here. Well, that's, uh, that's fine. This is a Yelp index page, but that will work. <clears throat> let's just go click on one of these guys that have some photos, like this guy right here. We'll click on this one. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, yeah, you can get away with uh, basically just a whole bunch of links to Yelp listings. Well, first of all, make sure the Yelp listing is completed in its entirety. Um, at, complete everything that you can on the Yelp page, right? So when you're setting up the listing, complete as much as you possibly can. I mean, everything that you can uh, fill in, do it. Put as many photos in as it allows you to. Make sure that your photos are geotagged, that you have the metadata, EXIF data, all of that stuff has been added. When I say EXIF data, guys, I mean coordinates, that kind of stuff. Right. So mark everything up first. Get various uh, keywords in there. Right. So that you're not don't hammer every single picture with the same keywords or the same keyword. And, and also remember when you're optimizing or, or adding uh, when you're optimizing metadata of the files themselves, you want every individual file to have multiple variations of the keywords, too. You don't want to hit the same keyword like in all the different locations. What I mean by that is if you're on Windows, if it's a JPEG file. Uh, or JPG, either one, you can right click on it and click on properties and then click details. And then uh, from details, you can add a bunch of metadata. You can do it that way, or you can use something like, uh, and I was just playing with this yesterday. There's a uh, online tool called the XFR. It's just so you can add uh, EXIF data. So if I say EXIF uh, tool, something like that. It's called the uh, XFR, X, X, the XFR.net or something like that. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, anyways, right here. This is it. The xeffer.net. <laughs> it's a very strange name. But uh, anyways, this right here you can use to add like coordinates and stuff like that. There's also a download. This is this is all done online. That's why I like this one. But I've been using, and I've got it up here in my browser, called Geosetter. I've been using that for seven years now. Um, but I, I like the online, and that's this right here. You guys see this? And this is how you can add basically metadata and everything to the actual... Um, files, right? So you can add like geo coordinates and everything else. So make sure that all that is done first. Then when you go to, once you've completed the Yelp listing, let me show you a few things. Number one, you've got the main Yelp listing URL. You guys see that? That's pretty standard, right? Well, let's show you something else. And this is one of our mastermind members brought this to my attention, David Ross, and it was awesome uh, because I had never even thought to do this and he brought this to our attention. But if you go look at the page source, guys, from your Yelp listing, scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see this right here. You guys, this is freaking gold. Those are all canonicals, guys. They're basically the Yelp in different languages, like the different versions. Every one of these URLs, guys, are canonicalized or basically to this main listing here. So look at all these additional target URLs right here you have to build links to. You guys see that? That's freaking gold right there. Because every one of these could be different link targets, okay? So that that's that's the second method, right? So the first method is number one, complete the profile, and that includes as many photos as you can with all of your photos optimized uh, with metadata, geotags, everything, right? Number two, hit the source code of the listing, copy all of your uh, canonical URLs or alternate URLs, foreign language URLs, whatever you want to call them. Get all of those. Put those in a spreadsheet too right? That you can use as link building targets. All right. And lastly, you want to go through each one of the images. Now that you've got all the images, click on each image, guys, copy the URL right out of that. Each one of these images has a separate URL. Let's watch the address bar. When I click to the next image, it changes. Click to the next. Well, there's only two images on here. Uh, maybe three. There it is. There's another one. 
So each one of these URLs here, guys, another uh, target URL. Does that make sense? So that was, um, I didn't give it all away, but I gave a lot of it away. So is that acceptable? Are you guys okay with that? Good to <laughs> hopefully go. That makes, hopefully that I makes sense. <laughs> What'd you say? I guess that's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys got something out of that because you can do a lot with Yelp listings. They they rank like crazy. Um, a lot of uh, – I've got a lot of lead gen stuff out there that is like the organic part, Yelp. Yelp. I, I rank the Yelp listings very easily, um, even if the websites themselves don't rank as well and organic as I, you know, as I would like. I end up getting Yelp, Yelp listings to rank really well.